Hey guys, it's Nick Hodges here. I don't know if you can remember this, but in my previous Milestone video, I mentioned that there might be exciting new opportunities for history buffs. Well, now I can officially say what one of them is. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by a &E Networks, the owner of History, saying that they had seen my Vikings review. They liked it so much that they asked me whether I'd be interested in hosting a new podcast series promoting Season 4 of Vikings. I of course said yes, since you all know, Vikings is my favourite historical TV show. Now, I initially thought that they wanted me to record these podcasts in an office somewhere in London, but that was not to be the case. Guys, they actually flew me out to Ireland and got me onto the Vikings set. I cannot begin to describe to you how much of an awesome time I had there. After years of watching Vikings since season one, I was now in Kattegat. I felt like a kid in Disneyland. I felt like I had traveled back in time. The sets were huge, and the amount of detail they put into every structure you see is unbelievable. And this is just one of those sets. I was allowed to wander freely and explore every nook and cranny you could possibly imagine, whether it was to chill out with the Viking extras or even checking out the armory and being shown their weapons and crossbows. I even got to hold these weapons with my own hands. They even allowed me exclusive access to sets that no one in the general public was allowed to see. This is because they were actually filming while I was there. I obviously can't show you these sets since they're big spoilers, but what I can say is this, for all you Vikings fans out there, you are in for a real treat. Season 4 is going to be the biggest one so far, and some really exciting stuff is coming our way. So, you'd think that would be awesome enough, but the real reason they flew me over there was also to meet the Vikings cast and record our conversations for the podcasts. I had a lovely chat with Catherine Winnick, who plays Lagatha, and as you can imagine, I was really nervous going into this meeting. I'm not a journalist, and I've never done anything like this before. But Catherine was really sweet, and after a bit, I totally relaxed and just enjoyed our long conversation together. Afterwards, Catherine told me that she loved the fact that I was obviously a fan and knew a lot about the show. When I told her it was my first time, she gave me a massive high five, which <laughs> really made my day. Uh, I also got a chance to talk to Jenny Jacks, who plays Princess Judith. Jenny has got to be the bubbliest person I have ever met, and any remains of my initial nervousness disappeared when she walked in through the door. She also has a really cheeky sense of humour that I wish we recorded, but regardless, we had a big laugh together, and it was cool to be hanging out with the mother of Alfred the Great, which is something she is especially proud of with her character. Then I finally got to talk to Gustav Skarsgård, who plays Floki, and it was so cool to meet him that I totally forgot about the microphones in this conversation. For years I had my own interpretation of who the character Floki really is, and being able to talk to him and ask him in person was so surreal. We talked for ages and even afterwards, Gustav and I had a chat about history buffs, and he absolutely loved the idea of a YouTube channel that reviews historical movies and TV shows. Then he took it upon himself to introduce me to some of the other cast members, and before I knew it, I was surrounded by Vikings cracking jokes about some of the awful movies I had reviewed. It was an amazing experience, and I can't thank a &E Networks enough for making this happen and giving me the experience of a lifetime. On the slim chance that Catherine, Jenny, or Gustav is watching, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day just to hang out with me. You guys are the best. Uh, thanks to everyone at Ashford Studio, you guys make a kick-ass show, and you made my visit such a pleasure. And finally, and I can't stress this enough, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and watched my videos. Without your support, my videos would never have been seen by a &E Networks, and I never would have had this amazing opportunity to host a podcast exclusively for history. So, to any of you out there who wish to listen to my experience in Ireland and hear my conversations with the cast of Vikings, check out the link in the description box below. Uh, now, I'm back in London for a few days to sort out some stuff for history buffs, but I will be returning to Ireland soon to record some more episodes for History's Vikings podcast. If you have some questions about Season 4, then feel free to send them to historyvikingspodcast at gmail.com. I'm sure they're going to love answering questions from some real history buffs. Until then, take care guys.